Hello and welcome. You're watching Beyond World is One. My name is Mohammed Saleh. And let's start this broadcast by taking a quick look at what is making headlines at this hour. Now, ahead of his visit to Israel, the American Secretary of State Anthony Blinken is to reach Riyadh for the World Economic Forum Summit on Sunday. And the summit is expected to have a strong focus on the grinding war in the Gaza Strip. The Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi claims that acquiring nuclear weapons is actually not a part of his country's nuclear doctrine. The statement has come up days after an Iranian commander had stated that Iran may shift its nuclear policy if Israel continues to threaten Iran with nuclear weapons. The French President Emmanuel Macron is to spend more days than planned earlier during his visit to Germany in the month of May. The government has said that it signals the Franco-German relationship is getting stronger despite the recent disagreements. And people continue with their protests against the government's plan to extend the use of a nuclear power station in Taiwan. Of its four plants, Taiwan has decommissioned two and a suspended construction of one in 2014. And thousands of Socialist Party supporters rally in Madrid, calling on Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez to stay on after he said that he might quit the Premiership over a business corruption probe into his wife's private dealings. An Armenian protesters block roads to prevent the return of four villages that were seized in the 1990s to Azerbaijan. Both nations are demarcating the contested section of the border this week. And a zoo in northern France welcomes two smartphone tiger cubs in a boost to conservation efforts. The cubs Rumba and Toba were born as a result of the European breeding program of Smartham Tigers. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.